priority in this case right now, sympathy and support in the wake of this tragedy. But with three Colorado deputies killed basically within a time frame of a month, there are also many calls for action. El Paso County Sheriff Bill Elder said the senseless violence has got to end. And Governor John Hickenlooper made the statement, we must come together to say enough is enough. And our Bill Folsom spoke with Mayor John Southers, who has extensive experience working alongside law enforcement. Bill, what do you have to say? Well, he's been a district attorney, the head of corrections, and Colorado's attorney general. Mayor Southers remains well-versed on crime trends, and he says crime, it is up. A deputy shot and killed multiple other officers and a bystander injured. As Colorado Springs Mayor, Southers spoke out with condolences and support. As a former DA, we asked him about an extensive investigation when the suspect is dead. A very thorough investigation has to be done because a lot of shots were fired. Multiple shots fired, multiple people hit. A portion is to show officers were justified in firing. Another element is getting answers for victims. And there's looking at cause and prevention. Make sure we figure out exactly what happened to the extent that are uh, lessons to be learned from that, that's all much better. Some elements of this crime confirm current knowledge, like a teenage male suspect. 85% of crime is uh, committed by males between the age of I think, 15 and 35. Southern says like the rest of the country, crime rates are up in Colorado. Digging into the latest numbers we found from 2015 to 16, homicides up 6.3%, robberies up 3.8%. Burglary, it's down slightly, but with more than 18,000 auto thefts in Colorado, up nearly 20 percent. Southern says people need to understand lesser crimes often lead to more serious crime. People don't quite understand that there's a huge correlation uh, between uh, drug abuse in our country and our violent crime rate. Guns become a focus, but Southern says the drugs, incarceration trends, and mental health issues all add to the complexity of the issue. It is law enforcement at the front line dealing with it. But what it dramatizes uh, for me, and I think should dramatize for all of us, is how dangerous police work is today. So the need to address this issue is not lost, but the mayor and other local leaders are first focus on, focusing on support through this weekend's funeral for Deputy Flick. Elizabeth? Bill, thank you.